Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We're going to talk about crypto in-game. How much could it all be worth? What could the price of Bitcoin actually be? So if you actually take a look, I'm going to assume that Bitcoin is going to stay number one for uh, this kind of like thing because it's very hard for me to see anything jumping Bitcoin anytime soon. I don't think Ethereum is going to jump it. Don't think BNB, XRP, ADA or anything is actually going to jump Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin will remember that remain the top crypto. So the thing is like, how much could Wall Street push it up? Because we know that Wall Street is coming in. Wall Street's trying to build an exchange. And outside of that, big Wall Street players like Fidelity, BlackRock, they're wanting their uh, to give their clients a way into the crypto market retail. So you know they're actually all coming in. So how, like in game wise, in 20 years, how high could they actually push uh, Bitcoin and crypto? Well, the US stock market, well, the stock market's worth roughly $93 trillion right now. 93 trillion. There's about 20 million Bitcoin, or there will be about 20 million Bitcoin out in play. Now, technically there's, I know there's 21 million, but that's not gonna get mined out until 2140. Right now we're slightly above 19, so we're just going to say take a nice number in the middle, 20 million bitcoins. They're going to have so we're going to have 20 million bitcoins out there with a 93 trillion dollar market cap comparative to stocks. I think crypto will be equal to stocks. That gives us roughly a 46, uh, 4.65 million dollar valuation for Bitcoin. But uh, I'm going to but. The stock market cap is not the same thing as the Bitcoin market cap. I'm going to say the stock market cap is the same as the entire crypto market cap. Now, how much will Bitcoin be at that point? I would say at that point, um, dilution-wise, Bitcoin will be somewhere around 20% dominance. So maybe even less than that. But assuming that Bitcoin's at less than half the dominance it is right now, around 20% dominance, that would actually put Bitcoin at a nice $930,000. Now think about Bitcoin at 930,000. If Ethereum, if uh, if Ethereum is like, you know, more than half of that, you basically have, you're basically going to have Ethereum at, you know, tens of thousands right now, because $930,000 is roughly like over 40X what Bitcoin is right now, you 40X Ethereum, you're going to get like, you know, $64,000 or something. And I think, you know, the, the second biggest one might actually be slightly higher as well. So very, very hard to actually see that, you know, like Ethereum might reach close to $100,000. If it's still Ethereum, if it's Cardano, you know, you can do the recalculations for Cardano. Like for Cardano, you know, instead of 47 cents, you'd probably be looking at like $47, if not more. And this is like 20 years into the future, end game. So like Bitcoin, if it's only 20% dominance, then it would be almost a million dollars. So yes, like very, very far fetched end game. That is very possible. And I'm just basically equating the crypto market with the stock market, because I think those two will eventually go hand in hand. So like if you're looking like 20, 30 years into the future, maybe setting up for retirement, Bitcoin actually can be a pretty nice multiplier at over 40x. You know, those people like me were probably planning to retire in about 30 years. And if we invest in Bitcoin right now, assuming it stays number one, you know, we can turn our $20,000 and almost into a million dollars. And most of us have more than, well, I won't say most of us, but many of us have more than $20,000 in savings. So we could possibly get more than that. And even if you buy some of the smaller ones, they might even have higher multipliers. You don't think $40 for ADA is achievable. If ADA eventually gains a lot of dominance in the L1 market, I think that's very, very possible. VET, you know, same thing. If it has a lot of logistics market, if it actually gets integrated, um, you know, in the years to come, it could go up a whole bunch as well. But think about where your coin could be uh, if Bitcoin's at 900000 to over $900,000, almost a million dollars. Because I do think that's a realistic possibility if you're looking, you know, two decades into the future. Wall Street is eventually going to push this stuff up. It's going to push it way, way up. And I think the crypto market will pretty much equal the stock market in terms of value. So take a far look into the future. You know, we all say like, you know, you can't actually invest in top tens right now if you want a high multiplier. That's true if you're looking for one cycle. But if you're looking for 30 years into the future, you know, it's not true that you can't get a very, very high multiplier. If you're looking for 30 years into the future, you could possibly get a 100x from some of these top 20 coins as long as you think they'll actually be there in 20 years, which is not a safe bet by any means. So the thing is like, 
yes, there is still very high potential for top 10 coins, but you're gonna have to look farther in the future. And the farther you look into the future, the more risk there is. So you, you might actually just want to take that, you know, like it might actually be less risky to take like number, like a coin outside the top 100 and try to hold it for three years than take like Bitcoin or Ethereum and hold it for 30 years. But that potential is definitely there. And the crypto market can pump Bitcoin up to close to a million dollars because that's what it takes to be in line with the stock market. And that's only if Bitcoin is 20% dominance. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.